there are four things that we have to do to help you. Number one, I need to believe you. I need to believe you. I do believe you. And number two, I usually say, I know you're in pain. I'm acknowledging you're in pain. So at this point, my job is to ask you the questions that are gonna help me treat you surgically. And what I do know from doing this enough is that not only is surgery important, it's what happens before the surgery. So number one is the questions. Number two is um, we, we need to change your diet. Eating is really essential. And you can't imagine the foods we're eating could actually be causing inflammation. And we know endometriosis is an inflammatory condition. So we change the diets of, of our patients to help decrease the inflammatory component. And what I do tell my patients is, I know you are in pain right now, but eating better is going to immediately decrease your pain, probably by 30 to 40 percent. Once um, we discuss eating, the next thing is suppression. I know we cannot take someone to surgery, even if they're immediately out of pain, if they're not suppressed. And the suppression means the cells of endometriosis are what we consider rogue cells. They're able to grow. They grow even we, if we excise the tissue that they're on, if the patients are not suppressed and the cells are put to sleep, within a few days the peritoneum that I may have removed is regrowing and these new cells are now starting to implant on the new peritoneum. So that's very essential. It's essential um, that the patients are suppressed prior to surgery. And then the fourth most important thing, very important, is the surgical component. So the important, the, the key with the surgery is that the questions leading up during the history and eventually our physical exam, again, give me the blueprint of what I need to do surgically.